Hey guys, how's it doing? This is Sassin Dave here, and uh, th in this video, we are going to talk about all the changes that happened to the map. Um, the developers in the upcoming patches made a lot of changes to the jungle, especially uh, for this new map right here, as you as you are seeing right now. First thing is a small camp on the left side of the mid lane. Um, now is facing the top lane instead of facing the mid lane. So. And there's no bush next to it anymore, so you can't really pull this thing into a bush when you're taking it. Now, it is further away from the mid, from the river though, so if mid lane, mid laner come back and take, take the small camp, uh, I think you will have less risk of being taken by enemy champion there. But again, there's no more bush, so he has he's taking away the camouflage that he had before. So let's go to another thing, let's go to the distance between this small camp to the blue button. As you see here, because of the small cam here it, and the blue buff are facing each other now, kind of like there's no more you know wall that separate them. So I wonder if we can actually do this two together at the same time. It feels quite a bit of distance, but if we can, it will be more flexible. It will add more flexibility to the triple cam strategy where you actually pull this two together and give the mid lane you know take it really fast before mid lane go to mid, and it might, that might be an option now. So we'll see how this actually pan out when it comes out. And, and I don't know about you guys, but from the look of the map right here, I feel like the uh, goblin on the top and the blue buff, the spider blue buff now, it seems like the distance between them has been increased. So it might be harder to pull, them, pull those two together as well. It seems like about the same distance from top uh, small cam to the blue buff compared to the, you know, the bottom small cam to the blue buff. It seems like the same. So we'll see how this actually works. Another thing is goblin now is doing range attack so rather than melee attack. So. Um, once you trigger it, it's gonna do more damage to you. I feel like because the same amount of attack speed. If it does, if it does range damage, uh, if within the center range, the goblin can attack you more times. So, um, and and it also means it's harder to pull. So you kind of have to pull the bottom one and the top one and the blue buff now. I think a small camp. Because think about it, if if the goblins range attack, it's gonna it's gonna be really hard to pull. Even if they can be pulled between the small goblin and the blue buff. Because once you stack to the blue buff, the goblin is still far away from the blue buff and just start attacking you, right? Because it's ranged. So we'll see how this actually turns out. But you know, let's go to the next part. And another thing we want to mention on the top jungle side is they added jungle crab, uh, river crab. So the river type will actually attack you, but it seems like it does very minor damage. And once you kill it, it gives you a lot of gold. And I don't know how much is a lot, but it seems like a lot, about 150 gold or something total. And it's also going to give you some, um, you know. Um, a regeneration effect, so it's kind of like work a lot, another region after you kill it, give you some HP back. I feel like that's amazing because um, if you if you're at top line mid lane, you're kind of low, and if the jungle crab doesn't really do much, if the rural crab doesn't really do much damage, you can go kill it, right? If you end up killing them in jungle, you don't have to go back. You can stay in lane and get more experience and go back to jungle and, and stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to the new jungle crab, and then uh, they added one on the bottom lane as well, which we'll all get into as you can see. But this is going to this new jungle crab on both sides is gonna add more action into the game. It's gonna make the game feel more um, just much faster paced overall because you're gonna have more contesting going on. You have more gold to each side, um, you know, because of this new objective that need to be contested. So um, I'm looking forward to this once again. This looks amazing, and uh, I want to kill some crabs. So let's go to the next section here. They made changes to the uh, right bottom side of jungle. As well, the uh, small camp close to the mid lane and the red buff are now neighbors. Meaning, I think the reason why they did this is so that you can pull this two together as well. I'm not so sure because the big camp, red camp has a radius. Like right now, we know all the camps have the radius, right? Big camp's radius is actually pretty huge. The red buff, so I think you can probably pull the pull the two monsters to the left side of the wall there and attack them together. So. Um, I think it will increase the efficiency, but I'm not so sure, right? I'm not so sure. Um, but I'm looking forward to it once again. And the guys, this is going to be it for all the new map updates. I'm looking forward to the map that's coming out, and I hope you guys are as well. Um, the developer are putting a lot of work to this game right now, and I'm looking forward to all the progress in the game. So with that, guys, this is Assassin's Day. Peace out.